So today I'm doing a, hol a DIY Halloween slime. Let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is some glue. So it can be any type of glue. It just has to have PVA in it. So you're going to open it. And you can pour as much as you want in. But I usually do like this circle amount. So I'm going to start pouring it in. Gonna, now you're going to put some foaming soap in. So it can be any type of foaming soap. But the recommended one is air foam. And I like the luscious pear one because it smells really good. So you're just going to uh, pump three pumps. So. And then you're going to mix really well. So when you're done mixing, it should look pretty much like this. Um, so now, if you want, this is optional, but if you want, you can add paint. So I'm doing red paint to represent the blood. So you're going to usually um, just do one drop. And if you need more color, you can do more. So you're just going to mix that in also, and it may turn out a little bit pink if you do red, so I'm going to add more color. We're going to need one more drop, because it still looks like pink, and if not, I'll just say it matches with my unicorn outfit. Sometimes things don't work out the way that you wanted it to, so since I love unicorns, this one's going to be dedicated to a unicorn. So, so now, you're going to take your shaving cream. I'm just going to do one quick pump. I don't like to put too much because sometimes it will fall apart. So. So, that, this is how much you're going to want to put in. You can put a little bit more, but I recommend to put that much. So, now you're just going to mix it in really well once again. So, let's start mixing. In like well, you're going to get your lotion. It can be any type of lotion, but also again, um, Bath and Body Works lotion is recommended. So you're gonna just put one drop, just as much as the paint, and you're gonna mix it in like this. You're gonna mix it in really. Once you mix it like this once again, you're gonna put your bowl aside, and you're gonna get as much water as you want in a small bowl and then you're going to take borax and it's one teaspoon but I couldn't find my one teaspoon so I'm going to do a half teaspoon so you're going to do two of those and you're going to put them in the water it doesn't have to be exact but it has to be close and now you're going to mix it um, you're going to mix it in again, and it does not have to be dissolved, but it has to be at least just a little bit dissolved. Because usually it takes a while to dissolve, like even overnight, it still has some in. So, you're just going to mix for about 30 seconds, and I'll see you when um, it's almost dissolved. Get your bowl back, and so now my um, borax and my water is almost dissolved, so you're going to take a spoonful and you're going to drop it in and you're going to mix sort of slow but not super slow. So you kind of want to mix slow but not too slow. Um, it'll also make it stretchier if you make, mix it slow. So you're just going to keep mixing and it's kind of complicated to know when it's ready but I've done this about a billion times so I know when it's going to be ready. So right now um, I'm going to need more borax water because um, it's not fully formed together and if you touch it, it's just going to feel like normal glue. And so it's going to clump together and it's going to form together. So once you feel like you've dissolved all, I mean you've mixed all the um, water into your glue, you're going to want to get more water until it's in like a little like ball shaped and it's going to be sticky when you pick it up. And you're just gonna um, dip your hands in the borax water and you're gonna knead it. So my slime is formed and it's not in a ball shape, which it should be, but you know, things form differently. So you're gonna pick it up and it's gonna be sticky and you want you're gonna wanna knead it. And so I'm gonna get 
another spoonful and I'm just going to put it here and you're going to start kneading it. So now I've taken it out of the bowl and you can see it's not sticky at all because I've added a little bit of this. So now you're going to take your baby oil because you want your slime to be stretchy. So I poked a hole in my paper of my baby oil and now I'm just going to put a little bit of your baby oil on. Just a few drops and set this aside and you're just going to knead it and play with it with the baby oil in it and it should become stretchy within like 20 minutes. So. Um, so I'm finished with my slime. It's really stretchy, but it hasn't taken 20 minutes yet, so it'll be even stretchier in like 10 minutes. So I'm really excited that I made another one of my slimes. And so I got most of these products at the Dollar Tree. Um, I got my lotion at Bath and Body Works and my paint at um, Michael's. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this and have a happy Halloween and make sure you um, follow my slime account on Instagram at Icy Slimes. So thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween.